Hey, I'm Jake McDonough. And I'm Pat Frazier. Tuning you into the first ever episode of DXTV. With upcoming news, Poetry Out Loud is underway with every English class participating. We'll look to last year's winner, James Hendren, to have another strong season this year. Exam schedules have come out, so make sure you check those out before it's too late. In other news, the fall play was a huge success. We're looking forward to the winter play, which comes out March 7th. Auditions start in January, after exams. This just in. School closes at 10 o'clock on the 21st. What do you think of that, Jake? Solid. Now we have an update on the Community Service Club. Tim Harrison sat down with club president Kevin Merle discussing the ins and outs of CSC. I'm here with uh, Kevin Merle, um, one of the leaders of the Community Service Club, and we're actually right in front of the Community Service Club as we speak, run by Mrs. Corrigan and Mrs. McDonald. Uh, Kevin, so how does it feel to be a leader of the Community Service Club? And what are, what are some of the uh, things you have to do? It feels good, um, helping the community. Um, we mainly cut coupons, um, a lot of them, and we sort the coupons uh, and send them off to the troops and um, people in need. So it's a good cause. Okay. Proud to so, do it. so uh, what are some of the problems that you guys face? Some of the adversity you guys have to overcome in order to actually make this a successful club? Um, my hand cramps a lot. Um, I can see that yeah. when I'm cutting the coupons. Right. So. so save your scissors. Skin. My surface is so tough. I don't think the blade will take it. Fight through the cramps. Um, but other than that, if you get a good pair of scissors, you're, you're in the clear. So. Right. That's good. Um, so you know, this is one of the clubs that is uh, has to do with Dexter and Southfield. How does it feel to be able to you know interact with some girls at one point and, and you know you know really put your name out there? See, <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> you know, I think um, it's a good feeling. It, yeah, it's, it's nice to get a nice mix between Dexter and Southfield. Right, right. So, uh, so what are, what are some of the categories that you guys uh, uh, divide your coupons into? Um, uh, frozen, frozen goods is a popular one. Um, medicine, personal care is probably the top three. Um, Okay, so how did you get the leader position in the community service club? Um, I think Miss McDonald just saw my potential um, with, with the scissors. You know, I was always putting out a, a large amount of coupons, and I think she spotted that early on, freshman year. Um, you know, sophomore year, I got, I just kept climbing the ladder and uh, got to the top. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, so thanks, Kevin. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Kenny. Good luck with the community service club later on in life. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Merle. Seems like a blast. Now sending it over to reporter Nick Palangian, who sat down with Mr. Williamson in the debate club. Sending it over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm here in the, Clay, in the Clay Center with Mr. Williamson, who's the head of the debate club. Mr. Williamson, why did you start the debate club? Well, Nick, uh, we started the debate club about six years ago uh, to give uh, students a chance to uh, perform, to argue, and to uh, be up on the current issues of the day. And Mr. Williamson, would you say that you like to argue? Everybody likes to argue, Nico, or else they wouldn't be here. That's debatable, but good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, what sort of things did you debate surrounding the presidential election? We had two teams of four. We had Team Obama and we had Team Romney, and they uh, took turns presenting their case, and then it was up to the judges to decide who made a better presentation. Not so much on the politics, but on the theory. And just personally, I'm wondering, what makes a good debater? First of all, Nico, you have to know what you're talking about. Second of all, you have to like public speaking, and third, you have to try to Really get your soul into it. I love it. Oh, and well, so do we. Ask anybody. Here, take Bramson, for instance. <laughs> Bramson, do you get your soul into it? Yes. See? Good. And so it good. really it charges, up by, charges up your batteries. For instance, 
Uh, Caroline has been um, a ghostwriter for us, and she hasn't performed yet, but ask her about uh, what, what she does. Caroline, has it been a good time being a ghostwriter? It has, yes. Good answer. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. Thank you, Mr. Williamson. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. So, Pat, in the early days of December, what's up with all this warm weather? Yeah, that's a great question, Jake. We should send it over to the one and only weatherman, Charlie Donners, who I think has the answers. Thanks, guys. Reporting to you live outside the Clay Center here, you're Dexter TV weatherman. As you can see, we've been experiencing some odd weather lately with high temperatures and low precipitation. One might wonder, what's really going on up there? Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Let's go. Sports! Sports! <laughs> in recent sports news, basketball is off to a great start with wins over Berwick and Newman School. Looking into the future, basketball will take part in three Christmas tournaments. Chapel Hill, Beaver Country Day, and BBNet. Last Wednesday, hockey played Kent Hill with a big 5-1 victory. Looking to the future for the hockey team, they will take place in two Christmas tournaments, the Lawrence Groton Tournament and the BBNN Tournament. Thanks for watching Week 1 of DXTV. And from the whole crew here at DXTV, just reminding you, stay saucy, Dexter.